Meantime, baseball fans are gearing up for the second playoff game tonight between the Richmond Flying Squirrels and the Erie, Pennsylvania Sea Wolves as the series now moves to the diamond. It's the first baseball playoff game in the city in years. Our Brendan King spoke to the Flying Squirrels COO ahead of tonight's big game and now joins us live with an update. Hi, Brendan. Hey, good afternoon to you, Cheryl. Yeah, we're hoping the weather does turn out to be a plus for the baseball game tonight, and it is a big game. But listen to this. Richmond has not seen playoff baseball since 2014 here at the Diamond on the Arthur Ashe Boulevard. Todd Parney Parnell tells me this is in a critically important game. In fact, he calls it a must win for the Flying Squirrels. Without a doubt, one of the most hyped up animated individuals in Richmond works here at the Diamond. How far go nuts? Flying Squirrel COO Todd Parney Parnell is pumped for the first baseball playoff game in the River City in years. I feel that these seats are going to be full of Squirrels fans that are cheering their head off tonight. And this atmosphere is going to be, in my opinion, like nothing we've ever seen. You're going to be able to cut the tension with a knife, but it's going to be fun, fun, fun with a capital F-U-N-N. In a series of three games, the Flying Squirrels must win Thursday night against the Erie Sea Wolves from Pennsylvania. It's the best of three series. We lost the first game, so not only is it the first playoff game in 2,935 days, but we have to win it to stay in it. Gates open 30 minutes earlier than usual at 5 p.m. Parney encourages your family to show up early. From 5.30 to 6 at the Brewski's Corner Cantina, Frankie Testato, one of our most popular players who was injured and rehabbing in Arizona, we flew him back to Richmond for tonight so he can meet the fans, have an autograph session, and hang out with his teammates during the game. A history-making game with the pressure all on the line. 6.35. It's on and we, we need to win this game so that we can play tomorrow night here at the Diamond, winner take all. All right, the first 1,500 visitors to the Diamond receives a rally towel. Again, the gates open at 5 o'clock. There are fireworks right after the game. So, Cheryl, I hope you'll join me in wishing the Flying Squirrels the best of luck tonight. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Brennan King, CBS 6 News. Have fun, go nuts. Good luck.